The Starlight Fleet, Rogue Merchant, Book 7, by Roman Prokofiev, continues the spacefaring adventures of the titular Rogue Merchant, where political intrigue, commerce, and action intertwine across the vast expanse of space. As the seventh installment in the series, this book takes the protagonist through new challenges, both internal and external, as they navigate the complexities of interstellar trade and the delicate balance of power among diverse alien races and factions. In the beginning of the novel, we find our protagonist reflecting on their past endeavors, the close-knit crew of their ship, and the growing reputation of the Starlight Fleet as a force to be reckoned with. The rogue merchant's name is now synonymous with risky but profitable deals, making them a target for both those seeking their expertise and those wishing to take them out of the competition. A new opportunity soon presents itself in the form of a rare and extremely valuable commodity found on a remote planet on the fringe of known space. The merchant, always one to take calculated risks, sees the potential for immense profit and decides to undertake the dangerous mission of acquiring this commodity. However, the mission is fraught with complexity due to the political instability of the region and the presence of rival traders and pirates who are also after the same prize. As the story progresses, the crew of the Starlight Fleet reaches the planet and navigates its peculiarities, including harsh environmental conditions and the indigenous population, which is wary of off-worlders. Tensions rise when they discover that a competing merchant, backed by a powerful conglomerate, is also on the planet and willing to go to great lengths to secure the commodity for themselves. Despite the competition, the rogue merchant manages to secure an audience with the planet's local leaders, employing a combination of charm, wits, and knowledge of local customs to negotiate access to the precious resource. However, the situation becomes more convoluted when it's revealed that the commodity is sacred to the inhabitants, and its removal could lead to cultural and ecological disaster. As the merchant weighs the moral implications of their actions against potential rewards, the crew faces their own set of problems. They must deal with sabotage attempts on their ship, espionage from rivals, and internal dissent from crew members who question the ethicality of the mission. Throughout these trials, the strength of the crew's loyalty and commitment to each other is tested, showcasing the importance of trust and the bonds they've built over countless adventures. While dealing with these hurdles, the rogue merchant is approached by an enigmatic figure who claims to represent a clandestine organization with deep ties to the galaxy's underbelly. This organization offers a partnership, promising information and support that could give the rogue merchant an edge over their competitors in exchange for a share in the ensuing profits and a favor to be named later. The offer is enticing but comes with numerous unknowns that could endanger the entire operation and the very existence of the Starlight Fleet. Moreover, the story takes a turn when it is revealed that the political landscape of the region is much more complicated than initially thought. The planet's resource struggle is a chess piece in a larger game being played by interstellar powers with the rogue merchant caught in the middle. The protagonist must now navigate a minefield of alliances, betrayals, and subterfuge, where every decision could have far-reaching consequences for the Starlight Fleet and the fragile peace in the region. As the climax of the book approaches, the rogue merchant is thrust into a high-stakes negotiation that turns into a standoff with the competing merchant and their backers, leading to an intense battle that showcases the rogue merchant's strategic genius and the crew's competence in combat. With ingenuity and a bit of technological wizardry, the Starlight Fleet manages to gain the upper hand, ensuring the safety of their ship and securing a portion of the invaluable commodity. In the aftermath, the merchant must deal with the ramifications of their choices. They decide to honor the sacredness of the commodity and the culture of the planet's inhabitants, opting to trade for a portion that is already separated from the sacred site ensuring no further harm comes to the planet's ecosystem. This decision earns them the respect and gratitude of the local population and sets a precedent for ethical conduct in the often greedy world of interstellar trade. The book concludes with the Starlight Fleet departing the planet, richer not only in material wealth, 
but also in experience and moral standing. Yet the lingering partnership with the clandestine organization and the promised future favor cast a shadow on their future prospects. As the crew celebrates their victory and the successful acquisition of the commodity, the rogue merchant ponders the consequences of their newfound alliances and the inevitable challenges they will face in the universe's cutthroat economy and delicate political landscape. In Roman Prokofiev's seventh book, the Starlight Fleet's journey through commerce and conflict continues to evolve, blending action, strategy, and drama to build a compelling narrative that sets the stage for further adventures in this expansive science fiction universe. The protagonist emerges as a complex figure who must balance ambition with principle, leading a crew who has become more like family than colleagues in a galaxy that offers as much peril as it does promise. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.